Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. If you saw the stream the other day, you noticed I grabbed one more shadow rope which gave me the opportunity to finally take it to Perfect Epic. So we also have a bright robe at Perfect Epic and I figured this is a good time to both showcase the bright robe and the shadow robe, compare them, go over their stats, and give you my advice of what I think is the better of the two. But first, if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell because we did start live streaming Artro and it's a lot of fun. If you want to play with me, do some hero duels, or or just watch some entertaining outro stuff, make sure you check it out. We also have Discord and we are streaming on Twitch too. So join the community, be all about it there, but let's get into this video here. So first we're gonna be talking about the bright robe and the reasoning behind that is I just decided to record that first. So there you go on that. But you can see at Perfect Epic level 50, we're getting an additional 4,219 health on it. But compare that to one of the four original armors, like, I don't know, the void robe here. And you can already see we're getting about 250 and change for additional health out of this item. Now the next stat is one that people really seem to be liking and that's a front damage resistance plus 12%. So in other words, most of our attacks are probably gonna be hitting you from the front and that's where you're gonna be reduced by 12%. So if you get hit for a thousand damage, you're only taking 880. Don't hold me on the math there. You guys know I'm terrible at math. And the next one we have is the in-game level upgrade speed plus 25%. And what that means is your little yellow bar up there for the level is going to increase faster. Kind of like the smart ability. The smart ability is going to give us a 30 percent increase but this one's pretty close to it too in this video you're seeing right now i was actually able to grab the smart ability with the bright robe and i got to about level 12 on it before i completed the up close dangers when i ran the shadow robe i was only able to get to level 10 so having the two together is definitely a huge help i think with just using the bright robe you're going to get about one additional level on a 20 you know stage board there if anything but the last one here each upgrade will increase max hit points I had a little bit of an issue with because I was getting conflicting information on the web. One said that you would get 3% every time. The other one said that you would get 2.5% up to 25% and 30% when you had the smart ability. So I had to take my gloves off and my socks, do some counting. And the first thing I noticed here is we're getting about 544 or 545 health added every time we level up. So I took that divide it by 21776, which was the health I went in with, and you could see here 0 0.025, we times that by 100 for a percentage and 2.5%. So that's what we're gonna get every single time we level up inside this thing up to level 12, because remember, we start off at level one. So the first one you actually get is when you hit level two. So by the time we hit level 12, unfortunately, you'll see it here, we don't get anything at all from it, which lets us know, I even went back and counted to 10, and that 11th one, we unfortunately did not get. So the most you're gonna get out of this thing is 25%. And keep in mind, getting a max HP from the Angel will give you a 20% increase pretty close to what we get out of this. And if you disagree with this, I challenge you, number one, to learn to count to 10. Number two, go in, screen record, grab the smart ability, and see how far you get. And you'll probably come back here and say, you're right, Peck. And just to show you on this run, we got about 4.14 million experience from running it. Now, let's get into the Shadow Robe itself. And as you can see, very first one there, max HP plus 4219, exactly the same as a bright robe. But down on the third one there, we're gonna get a plus 7% for our max HP. And that gives me about an extra 1500 at this point in my game. Now the next stat here is the rear damage resistance plus 22%. And this is almost double of the bright robe, which is giving a 12% to the front. And a lot of people kind of argue over this one saying that the bright robe is better because of the front resistance. But my thought is when I'm playing the game, I'm always looking to see what's in front of my hero, and I find it a lot easier to dodge the things that are coming towards me from the front. I don't really pay a lot of attention to the ones in the back, and for this, I actually kind of like the rear damage resistance. I think they're still pretty equally. I think we probably do get hit more in the front, but I think having the 22% versus the 12% kind of evens both of these out. Now the last one here causes strong dark damage to nearby enemies. And this is going to be 135% modifiable damage, which you don't need to hit them for, you just gotta get close enough to them. Now with the Rage or you know Helix's ability, as you lose hit points and do more attack damage, it doesn't change that at all. But grabbing things like attack power-ups 
will cause even more damage to the enemies around you. Now, what I really love about this is it pretty much is the same as Dark Touch, but pair this with Elemental Upgrade. And I don't know if you guys saw, I made one video where I did 26 million damage. I then went back in and capped out the highest damage ever at 100 million damage. So if you haven't seen those looking at, you can just type in Arctro 26 million damage and see on that. And this makes this a very nasty, nasty mean piece of armor. So I did get the exact same experience at the end on this as I did with the Bright Robe, which kind of lets us know that that Bright Robe is the kind of power up or speed up for your energy bar up at the top. Overall though, if I had to compare one or the other, if I had to pick one, I would actually go for the Dark Robe because I think it really is OP having that shadow dark touch ability to it and then getting an additional plus 7% really seems like a good idea to me. So would you rather have an, I don't know, an extra max HP or would you rather have an extra ability that's going to do damage? I'm going to take the one that does damage and I don't even need to hit them with it. So I wanna know what you guys think. Do you agree with this? Do you think that shadow robe is better than bright robe? I know a lot of people use bright robe at the very beginning stages and then towards the end of 18, 19, and 20 they switch over to shadow robe let me know what you guys think in the comments below don't forget like subscribe and remember i picked my butt